Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again it is time for a dynamic effort bench press day. But a quick reminder for those of you who watch these videos, please remember to click like down below. It would be greatly appreciated. Alright, so let's get over to the training. I'm doing everything with pinkies on rings for just a bit, and I'm going to keep hammering my triceps and front delts. Uh, because again, I know that my close grip will continue to climb from the tricep work and we'll get better overall chest development and honestly you know this is stuff i've been looking at a bit with the different grips of figuring out where i'm going to be the strongest and looking at where my weak links and everything are um, and i still may very well close grip in meat i'm going to test my grip widths going into it and whichever one is strongest is what i'm going to use right whichever one is strongest is what i'm going to use but from a stacking and a hypertrophy perspective, uh, you know, the wide grip's doing good. And that's the funny thing. It's like I said in the, in the last couple of vlogs, once I mess with the wide grip and realize it was probably just as strong as my closer grip when I, you know, went and did that floor press a few weeks ago, you know, I realized that even though my, my close grip just climbed, 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 it's because my pressing strength has been going up. It's because I worked on my triceps. It's because my shoulder is fully rehabbed, right? So I think all of my benching is just going to go up. And to be honest, I feel like I'll be able to get to a 405 bench using any grip, right? As long as we can keep my shoulders healthy. And I've realized the overhead pressing, uh, you know, I wanted to mess with it the other day. Even that made my shoulder a little clicky. So I think I need to stick with incline work and just smaller shoulder exercises. Uh, and I think that that will go ahead and bring my delts up where I need them too. Although I may start doing more face pulls and stuff on off days a little bit. Uh, getting the J-hooks perfect on the speed work was slightly problematic, mainly because trying to find my, my best setup. But overall happy with it. So in keeping with some of the theme I'm doing to get the most hypertrophy, be careful of overuse. Um, a lot of my movements, you know, the exception I think is going to be stuff like... Uh, reverse hypers, maybe glute ham raises. I'm not gonna do more than about three sets, I think, of any given exercise. Sometimes my band work, right? Sometimes my band work. But you know, if anything, by doing it this way, we're gonna get better overall hypertrophy, uh, better, better overall exercise selection. So we did three sets of five again on the incline with a pause. And keeping in mind, these are a steep incline. You know, that came up in, in the last workout. Someone said, well, your flat bench is a lot higher than mine, but I can incline what you can. And that may very well be true, but now, a couple things to keep in mind, guys. I haven't been doing incline. It's been months and months and months since I did incline. That incline that I did was based purely upon the delt and tricep work I've been doing. My incline's going to get up to over 300 pounds pretty quick. I feel like a 315 incline with a pause is going to happen for me fairly quick. Number two, it's at a 45 degree. All right, this is a steep, steeper incline than some people may be using. But three sets of five on the incline. Then I did three sets of 12, about 12 to 15 reps with the, the plate front raises. Um, I feel like the plate front raises did a lot for my benching. I feel like they do a lot for my benching. And because of my, my particular shoulder anatomy, they're probably healthier for my shoulders than overhead pressing. And I hate to say that, you know, overhead pressing, any way I break it down, I love the idea of it. But for a lot of people, it's problematic. For me, it's problematic. Just like pull-ups, basically anything where I try to extend fully overhead is an issue for me. What, what are we going to do about it? Nothing not going to matter as long as we build the muscle and strength I guess it's fine and I can always have a strong overhead if I want to just test overhead pressing I can always be strong at it you don't have to overhead press to be good at it and we've seen plenty of examples of that you know you, that comes up in the comments a lot people say yeah but you have to overhead to be good at no you don't there are guys with 315 strict presses who don't even train the movement Having a big bench alone will build your overhead press. I'm sorry, that's the reality. It's been proven over and over and over. And I used to not realize that. I've come to realize that it's true. But uh, same thing here with the rowing. You know, if, if I cut down the number of sets I do, I can handle more weight. 
on top of that. So let's look at just straight tension and then pump. And I think that's kind of the, the name of the game with a lot of these movements. What do we do on the incline? After the speed benching, you know, which was done against bands and pretty heavy for speed work. Did heavy incline and then we did basically pump work with the plate raises. It's the same thing on the rowing here. You know, I this is the heaviest weight I've ever tried to use for these as I stopped myself at three sets of ten. These were within a one rep of failure pretty much. These were tough. But I did 115 pounds for three sets of ten. Right? Also comes up, people pull this nonsense, uh, they'll say, oh, range of motion, like I'm hitting my chest. I, I don't know what you guys want me to do. Also, I think people forget that that contraction at the top, and, and again, not my opinion, it's what data shows, isn't really that important. Guys who, who compromise the weight they use trying to chase a peak contraction on lat movements wonder why they don't have a back like I have. Well, that's why. Tension stretch the lengthening position it matters a lot and if you want contractile strength just deadlift right deadlifts will destroy any of those movements hands down if you're just trying to have tension into the contracted position just deadlift there you go if you're going to do a, a dynamic movement that stretch at the bottom is is really what matters and getting as much tension as we can there and tension means we don't necessarily cheat we keep it reasonably strict but, so what did I do there? Three sets of 10 with the heaviest weight I've used so far on those. And then we do pump work. So as soon as I finish that, three sets of 15 on the inverted rows, works on my grip, works my forearms. Gives me six sets, you know. If we do that twice a week, that's 12, we're good. Two different rep ranges, two different uh, movement patterns. You know, keeping in mind, we do all that deadlifting, we do speed pulls, all that stuff. Good morning. So all that will work all of the same areas too. If anything, maybe some more upper back work. I might add some shrugs in, face pulls, you know, over over the next few weeks. But the main thing here is is again the chest work, which we did from the speed benching incline, shoulder work, which again incline, plate raises, and then we hammer the triceps. And again, just to change things up a little bit. Exercise I haven't quite done in a little while, but it's very easy on the shoulders. We're getting a lengthening position, right? To go with all that contractile position and over speed eccentrics I get from the band work, because I've done tons and tons of volume on the band work. I can probably get away with just trying to push a little progression on it. And so today I finished up with three sets with the dumbbells so that again, we get a, a good lengthening position and then we have the overspeed eccentrics against uh, contraction with the bands, which is also good for elbow health. You know, and the funny thing that's come up with the bands, you know, repeatedly, well, they're not going to hypertrophy your triceps, but my triceps have gotten bigger and they've gotten stronger while doing them as a the majority of my tricep work. So you can't say that. Yeah, you can't say that. The only argument against the bands is, is the lack of the lengthening position on the long head. But we get that right here, don't we? So between these two, we have some very, very, very good tricep development. In fact, full tricep development. And we can just do three sets of each one. Keeping in mind, we did all that other pressing. Speed bench against bands hits triceps pretty hard. You know, incline less hard, but they're still tricep. Because it's more of a, a upper chest. Well, really whole chest with a mild bias towards upper, but very, very delt focused. Okay, helps us out of the bottom of the bench, which is really, really what matters. If I'm going to bench a little wider, that bottom is what matters. Incline will build that. Even this movement, that lengthening position of the triceps will help get you out of the bottom. And then any concerns over lockout or work capacity, tendons, all get handled right here. This also does a lot for my close grip because I may do some of my rep work uh, with close grip also. But overall, I feel like this was a very, very effective workout today. We got a lot of angles, a lot of hypertrophy. Uh, we did get our speed work in. A uh, variety of rep ranges. Whole upper body should grow effectively from this. Uh, there should be good carryover to my bench maxes. 
and then we come back around Monday and do max effort benching. And I think I'm going to start doing more chains, more specialty bars and stuff on that. Right? We're going to do a little more of that stuff moving forward. Right? Because chains become a problem for me on closed grip. Like it, it kills my maxes. Wide grip, not so much. Right? And I may want to mess with that buffalo bar a little bit too. And even the McDonald bar a little bit more. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.